Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Angela and this is Miss Nookie Louise and we are here to bring you a Yankee Candle haul. This is going to be a real short one. Snooki obviously is not about the camera life. She's going to hide back there. Um, so in my candle empties, Recently, I spoke about a medium jar that I had bought at the outlet, and when I opened up the medium jar, it didn't have a wick to it. So I was like, okay, what do I do? Should I take it back? Should I just keep it and, you know, melt the wax um, on like a hot plate and use it? And I thought, no, you know what? I'm going to take it back because I really, I don't have time to like fool around with the wax and like make different melts and stuff like that. Like I buy melts from vendors, but I don't make them. Um, and I know it's like tedious and it takes a lot of time and things like that. And some people use mold, some people use um, like the ice cube trays or whatever. I don't know. I just don't have time for it. So I took it back and no questions asked. Um, which I'm the type of person that I barely take anything back to the store, so I'm guessing that's why. But anyway, Yankee Candle is phenomenal with their returns or exchanges. So I did actually pick up some things, just a few little things, nothing too major. Uh, the last time I went, they did have these scent cups in some of the fall fragrances, and I skipped. I don't even think I really smelled them at the time, but they still had them there, and I was just like, you know what? I think I'm going to grab them this time. By the way, I'm wearing my Yankee Candle hat. I never usually wear hats like this before because... My head is literally huge. Like, I have the biggest head. But for some odd reason, this hat fits me, so I'm happy about that. So we're just going with it today. But anyway, I picked up Moonbeams on Pumpkins. And this one, you guys, is simply to die for. Um, I don't even know the scent description, but to me, it just smells like a pumpkin fall pulpery fragrance. Um, and it's minus the apples. Like, I don't really pick up any apples, but I pick up just that kind of like country home, country kitchen type of fragrance. And it smells absolutely amazing. So I picked that up and if you guys don't know what these are used for, these are used to put um, in the centerpiece holders that you can pick up at Yankee Candle at either the regular retail or the outlet has them as well. And then I also got this one. This is Sweet Fig and Pomegranate. This is another one that they had there. Now I did purchase these for $5 a piece. Um, so, you know, whatever. They were full price. I really didn't care. This one smells really good. Pomegranate is super strong. The fig kind of like mellows it out and just makes it a very, very nice fall fragrance. So I'm super excited about that. And then, uh, candle wise, I really didn't see too much there. So I only got two. I did see this one and I had to get it. It was the Moonbeams on Pumpkin. So I'm definitely going to be doing a review on my channel about this candle. Um, this is just a classic two wick in the smooth wax. And oh my gosh, you guys, it literally smells so good. Obviously just like the scent cup, it's the same fragrance, but oh, it smells amazing. This is probably out of like all of the fall fragrances that I've ever had in my entire life. I really, really like the potpourri. I'm kind of getting back into um, that kind of country kitchen, older potpourri type of fragrance. So I really love that. And then they also had this in the large jar. This is the Honey Crisp Apple Cider. So I did pick that up. Again, I don't really care for the label, but we are willing to look past that as of now. Hopefully, they will be changing the label soon. I don't know. I know treasures are looking a little different, so possibly. I don't know. We'll see. But this one is really, really nice. So um, the apple cider in here is obviously prominent. It smells so good. So juicy, like juicy, juicy fall crisp, but still warm apple cider. Oh, so good. So um, this one does have an extra sticker on the bottom. Obviously, it was, you know, poured in 2017, but it has a sticker that's kind of uh, hiding that. And this one has a yellow label sticker. So I don't know what they considered wrong with this candle, but it looks phenomenal to me. So how much did I pay for this order? Well, I got $12.49 back for the medium candle that I brought 
back to them and I was charged $25.47 for everything, which isn't that bad. So um, let's see, what else is I gonna share with you guys? If you guys are not in the rewards program, it is the very first link in my description box below for Yankee Candle, definitely click on that, sign up and you will start seeing rewards of totals of $5 in your email each time you order, you can tag on Instagram. I don't know, I made a separate video about it, um, explaining it more if you guys wanna see that. But anyway, yeah, so that was my Yankee Candle haul. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see everyone later. Bye guys.